In this video, we will learn about variables and data types in Java. Variables are like containers, they hold something. Variables are used to store values that can be used at a later time. Variables come in two flavors, primitive variables and object reference variables. Primitives hold fundamental values like integers, floating point numbers, booleans and characters. Object references hold references to objects. A variable has a type, a name and a value. We can declare a variable count of type integer like this. We can also assign it a value of 10 like this. Let us look at primitives first. Primitive variables have a type that is predefined by the language. Containers can come in different sizes. Similarly, primitive variables have a size according to the value it needs to hold. The size of the variable is determined by the type it is declared with. There are eight primitive types in Java. Six of them are used to hold numeric values. Byte, short, int and long store integers and float and double store floating point numbers. There is a primitive type char to store a single character and a type boolean to store a true or false value. Each primitive variable holds a fixed number of bits and has a range of values. A byte variable holds 8 bits, short holds 16 bits, int 32 bits and long 64 bits. A float variable holds 32 bits and double holds 64 bits. A byte variable can have a minimum value of minus 128 and maximum value of 127. Short variable has a range of minus 2 to the power of 15 to 2 to the power of 15 minus 1. Int variable has a range of minus 2 to the power of 31 to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. Long has a range of minus 2 to the power of 63 to 2 to the power of 63 minus 1. Float has a range of about plus minus 10 to the power of 38 and about 7 significant decimal digits. The double type has a range of about plus minus 10 to the power of 308 and about 15 significant digits. A char holds a single 16-bit Unicode character it has a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of 65,535. Boolean represents one bit of information with only two possible values, true and false. Boolean is used for simple flags that track true or false condition. The size of a Boolean is not precisely defined. Here is a summary of the different primitive data types we have discussed and their bit sizes as well as range of values. Let's see some examples of primitive declarations. Here we are declaring an integer variable, a byte variable, short variable with some literal values. Let's declare a long value. Integer literal of type long should end with letter L. Otherwise, it is of type int. A declaration of float variable. A floating point literal is of type float if it ends with the letter F. Otherwise, its type is double. A double variable. Char literals are defined within single quotes. Lastly, we are declaring a Boolean variable with value of true. Let's recap. In this video, we learned about primitive variables in Java. A variable has a type, 
name and value. Primitives hold fundamental values with a predefined type. There are eight primitive types in Java, byte, short, int and long store integers and float and double store floating point numbers. A byte variable holds 8 bits, short holds 16 bits, int 32 bits and long 64 bits. A float variable holds 32 bits and double holds 64 bits. They also have a minimum and maximum value. A char holds a single 16-bit Unicode character. Boolean represents one bit of information with only two possible values, true and false.